pretty typical for the van. Things everywhere. Dishes drying. And me walking out the door. around and try to get to that upper bridge. It doesn't look it, but they say those upper falls are 542 feet high. That is wild. I love all the moss on everything. beautiful highway here in the Columbia River Gorge. This is supposedly the waterfall corridor. I just finished at one waterfall and now I'm moving towards another. This is Horse Tail Waterfall. Second one in this corridor. really just winging it right now. I was driving and I saw that there's this dam with a visitor center and you have to drive through like a little security checkpoint because this is Army Corps land. Took a peek inside my van, asked me some questions and yeah, they cleared me to now drive in. The engineer in me is very excited to go inside this hydroelectric dam. Uh, I don't know if you're supposed to keep driving. I guess you keep driving. I'm just driving. <laughs> I mean. Oh, there's the dam. The engineer in me is way too excited for this right now. So the very nice lady at the front desk of this visitor center explained how there are five levels. The coolest thing that this serves is that this is a fish ladder. So this is how salmon and multiple different species of fish make their way past the dam and further upstream.
see if we can see any fish climbing up the ladder. That was pretty cool. Off and on rain. So I'm at a fish hatchery here in the Columbia River Gorge. There's a guy I was just talking to at the damn visitor center was telling me all about this 90 year old fish that they have at this hatchery. I think his name was Herman. He's a 90 year old sturgeon. I'm gonna try to find him. Gorgeous grounds that these are on. It's really beautiful. Those are some massive fish. Sturgeon are the largest freshwater fish in North America. Look at how big this fish is. I think this big guy is actually the 10 foot, 500 pound, 80 year old fish. has finally stopped as I'm leaving the River Gorge and heading up towards Mount Hood. Look at how narrow this is. Ooh, try not to scratch the van. And I don't even know if there's someone here. Wow, no one here. Okay. Here's my camping spot. Check this out. see where the summit is just by the way the light kind of in like a triangle is this similar to Mount Rainier, Mount St. Helens, Mount Baker, Mount Adams is a volcano here in Cascades. Good night from Mount Hood. Good morning. So this is where I camped last night on a ridge line looking towards Mount Hood. He showed up a little bit this morning, but the clouds have been forming around it and I'm thinking that it might clear up by the afternoon. Good morning, because it's already starting to cloud up around Mount Hood, and we got a, just make sure there's no cars, beautiful unobstructed view of Mount Hood. 
was able to fly the drone. I feel like I got the most out of that campsite and I'm ready to move towards Trillium Lake. We're gonna drive around Mount Hood to the south side of it. A little bit of snow this morning on the southeast side of Mount Hood. So I'm in Mount Hood National Forest, just underneath Mount Hood. It's only a few miles away. And I was looking at the weather forecast, snow for pretty much the rest of the week, starting tomorrow night. Got just over three weeks to make it to San Francisco. And my plan was to basically just drive down the Pacific Coast Highway, which is Highway 101 here in Oregon. And then it turns into the famous Highway 1 in California. Anyway, all right, let's go. Oh, goodness. Woo!